Number 10. Shoebill Stork The Shoebill Stork is an impressive and somewhat ugly, dinosaur-like bird that is found in the dense marshes and swamps of Uganda in Africa. They have often been called the most terrifying bird on the planet, and for good reason. These birds are huge! They've been known to grow about 5 feet in height and have over 7 feet on them in wingspan. That's massive! In the limited interactions researchers have had with the shoebill stork, they have noticed that these flying creatures aren't exactly your friendly Sesame Street Big Bird. They are as mean as they look, and just as brave. They've been known to attack crocodiles. They're also extremely patient. They'll often wait for hours in the same spot before leaping out at unsuspecting prey, which includes snakes, catfish, eels, anything small enough to fit in their big beaks. Shoebill storks are rarely bred in captivity. Only two chicks have hatched in the last hundred years in zoos. The mysterious and elusive bird is also one that is well sought out by poachers. Some collectors will pay more than $10,000 for one. There is an estimate of between 3,300 and 5,300 mature shoebills living in the world today, and that number is quickly decreasing. The iconic birds are threatened by a number of forces, including loss of habitat from farming, livestock ranching, oil and gas exploration, pollution, wildfires, and more. International wildlife groups and local conservationists are monitoring shoebill habitats and patrolling the sites for poaching, but much more attention is needed to protect shoebills. Number 9. Seneca White Deer There are certain creatures known as albinos, meaning that they have white fur or skin due to a lack of pigmentation. However, there are some species that are beyond that in their genetics and honestly just have a rare white coat due to the recessive genes within their system. Such was and is the case with the herd of deer known as the Seneca White Deer. This rare breed of deer were pure white due to their genes, and thus a group of people sought to protect the herd, thought to be about 300 strong, so that they wouldn't die out. There were multiple attempts to help preserve the deer, including two different parks on the same area of land being opened up to help keep the animals alive. Sadly, both times the parks failed. The more recent failure happened in 2019 after funding goals simply could not be met. If you're wondering why these white coat deer are in danger, it's because white animals stick out like a sore thumb in a lush, sometimes dark forest. That means that between hunters and predators in the same area, the Seneca white deer are incredibly exposed. That's why the parks were built to try and protect them. Other efforts are being made to help the deer, but with their small numbers, one has to wonder if it'll be enough. Number 8. Vaquita. Whales and dolphins are usually rather large, but that's not the case for the vaquita. The vaquita is the world's smallest cetacean, and its name means little cow in Spanish. They are rather petite in comparison to other porpoises. On average, it weighs only 95 pounds, and at most, it's barely 5 feet long. The vaquita has dark rings around the eyes that sort of make it look like it's wearing eyeliner. They also have a proportionally large dorsal fin. They're quite unique among the porpoises. It is the only species of that family found in warmer waters, and the size of the dorsal fin is believed to be an adaptation to those waters that allows for extra body heat to dissipate. You can only find the vaquita in the northern Gulf of California, the Sea of Cortez, Mexico, but it's a rare sight to see as they are shy and elusive creatures and prefer to stay out of sight. And that could be because they are an endangered species, very close to being nearly wiped off the planet. Like many animals in the world, humanity is a big cause of their drops in numbers. Fishermen are allowed to fish in their habitat, and the vaquitas often get caught up in their nets and drown. Furthermore, the overfishing itself is costing them their food sources. Studies have shown that 39 vaquitas die a year from being tangled in nets, and more die because of their food supply dropping. This brings up the rather terrible news about the species. As of late February 2021, there are only an estimated 10 vaquita left in the world, because of this, it's believed that the species will never recover and thus is one of the rarest marine creatures in the world today. Would you like to see a vaquita before they go extinct? Let me know in the comments below and go ahead and give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these! Number 7. Pika The pika falls in the same family as rabbits and hares. The animal wasn't officially discovered until 1983, and then they mysteriously disappeared soon afterwards and weren't spotted again until 2014. That's a lot of hiding and not being found, which has made many wonder how exactly they do it. At last count, there are only around a thousand pika left in the world, which of course isn't an exact number given their hiding methods. 
When they are found, it's in the rocky terrain in the mountain regions from central British Columbia to south central California and east to Colorado. Lifestyle is said to be the cause of the low numbers. They prefer a certain temperature, but because of the climate change, they are forced to climb higher and higher into the mountains. But in doing so, they put themselves in danger of not having enough food to survive. Add to all of that, air in those mountains has a lot of heavy pollution, which slowly kills them, thus lowering their numbers. They could go extinct soon if things don't change, and some are even considering them to be the new mascot for conservation given how they have the need to be protected. Number 6. A more Leopard There are many big cats in the world, and their endangered nature depends on the species. One that is critically close to dying out is the Amur leopard, which resides in Russia and China. It's actually the natives of those countries that have caused the Amur leopard to go from thousands to mere dozens in population. That's right, only a few dozen are left in the wild. Their lands are being destroyed at an alarming rate, and they are also being hunted to near extinction because of their fur, making the Amur leopard one of the rarest felines in the world. Their coats are thick cream or white colored, with large wide spots called rosettes covering their entire bodies. Similar to other leopards, the Amur leopard can run at speeds of up to 37 miles per hour. This incredible animal has been reported to leap more than 19 feet horizontally and up to 10 feet vertically. There's estimated to be less than 70 of these leopards left in the wild. There is still hope that the Amur leopards can be saved from extinction. Effective conservation measures in a Russian national park have resulted in the Amur leopard population almost doubling from just 30 in 2007 to 57 in 2015. Hopefully, we can keep increasing these numbers. Number 5. Pangolin If you were to picture a creature with an armored shell, you could likely come up with a few different things, armadillo probably being the first thing that comes to mind. But actually, the most armored creature on the entire planet, and one that is very rare, is the pangolin, one of the most unique creatures in the world. This is an extremely unique creature. Their shell is made out of keratin, which is the same material that is in hair, claws, hooves, antlers, and more. They are actually the only mammal with scales from keratin. While certain mammals have shells or hardened skin, such as turtles and crabs, it's nothing like the pangolins. The armor is as tough as nails, tougher even which is actually not working out in its favor. Despite its defensive capabilities, it's one of the most trafficked animals in the world, resulting in the species being critically endangered. They are known to eat ants and termites. This is actually the reason pangolin is often compared to anteaters, even getting the rather interesting nickname of scaly anteater, as its tongue is quite long. Regardless of its nickname or classification, it's a rare animal even with its traffic rates, meaning if you see one out there, you should make note of it. Number four. Giant Chinese Salamander Here's a creature that has a nickname of Living Fossil, and looking at it, it's hard not to see why. This is a salamander, the last species of giant salamanders on Earth, in fact. On average, most salamanders fall between 4 to 8 inches. The giant Chinese salamander, on the other hand, grows to be an incredible 6 feet in length. This is a truly one-of-a-kind creature among its species. Many feel that this salamander is one that remains from the ancient world where dinosaurs once roamed the earth, which would explain both its size and its look. Chinese giant salamanders are expertly camouflaged against the rocky river bottoms they dwell in. It is a mottled grayish or greenish and brown in color with a long, thick body and four stubby limbs. Sadly, the giant Chinese salamander is actually almost extinct. It's currently labeled as critically endangered, which means it's very much on the edge of dying out. Number 3. Axolotl The axolotl is a rare and strange creature in nature for many reasons. While you can see axolotls in aquariums and labs all over the world, it's much harder to see them in the wild. These animals can only be found in the canals and lakes of Xochimilco, Mexico. It's a type of mole salamander, and its standard form developed because its larva failed to change during its natural metamorphosis which turns it into a large salamander, yet one that keeps its aquatic features, complete with gills and more. Just from a look standpoint, the axolotl is unique. It looks like a creature a kid would make in a drawing or something that would be found on another world in a sci-fi show. Breeding has led to the development of many different color morphs, some of which are rarer and more desirable. Another interesting fact, its eyes don't have eyelids, so thus their eyes can never close. The axolotl eats small fish, worms, and pretty much anything it can find that will fit in its mouth. The axolotl was actually a dog-headed god from Aztec mythology. It was known as a god of all things grim, and the deity would lead the souls of the dead to the underworld. 
As with a lot of stories from mythology, there are a lot of mixed versions about what would happen next, but some believe the Axolotl was scared of being killed and just transformed to hide. Some say the Salamander is trapped in the water of Xochimical, unable to transform again and walk on land. Scientists study this creature because of its interesting ability to regenerate its limbs, which could lead to advances in medicine. The axolotl is an endangered species, so that research could be derailed if the species dies out. Now, concentrated efforts are being done to keep the axolotl alive. Number 2. The Creatures of the Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench is the deepest part of our world that humans can, quote, actively reach, and to that point, only four people have ever been down there to study the area. Because of this, many of the animals that live there are either undiscovered, only seen a few times, or just glimpsed at, and are still quite mysterious to scientists. The few times humanity has been able to dive down there, the results have been mind-blowing in terms of what lives in that area. From unique sharks, to amoebas, to terrors like the anglerfish, and more, there's a lot that lives within the dark and pressure-filled area of the trench. But how many life forms are actually down there, and will we ever really know, is a good question. Number 1. Sayola. Often called the Asian Unicorn, very little is known about the mysterious Sayola in the 20 years since its discovery. There aren't any in captivity, and this rarely seen mammal is already critically endangered. Scientists have categorically documented Sayola in the wild on only four occasions to date, and only gotten pictures of the animal twice. The first trace of a Sayola was found in Vietnam in 1992, and it had a very oddly shaped skull. Then, a few sightings of the creature led to the finding of this new species, albeit they could never capture one. It had very odd markings on it and looked to be a fusion of various kinds of species found in the area. They sort of resemble antelope, though genetically they're closer to cattle. But what may be the strangest part of all is that though we roughly know where it is, we can never seem to find one, which makes one wonder not only what the animal is truly like, but how many of them are out there in the forests and jungles of Laos and Vietnam. Many have tried to find out more, but the creature remains shrouded in mystery. And until it's found once more, that's how it'll remain. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these animals that aren't seen very often? Have you ever been lucky enough to see any of them? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already! I'll catch you next time on the Board Badger!